Avril Ramona Levine, born September 27, 1984, is a Canadian singer, songwriter, and actress. By the age of 15, she had appeared on stage with Shania Twain, and by 16, she had signed a two-album recording contract with Arista Records worth more than $2 million. Levine's debut studio album, Let Go, 2002, is the best-selling album of the 21st century by a Canadian artist. It yielded the singles, Complicated and Skater Boy, which emphasized a skate punk persona and earned her the title Pop Punk Queen from music publications. She is considered a key musician in the development of pop punk music, since she paved the way for female-driven, punk-influenced pop music in the early 2000s. Her second studio album, Under My Skin, 2004, became Levine's first album to reach the top of the Billboard 200 chart in the United States, going on to sell 10 million copies worldwide. Levine's third studio album, The Best Damn Thing, 2007, reached number one in seven countries worldwide and saw the international success of its lead single Girlfriend, which became her first single to reach the top of the Billboard Hot 100 in the United States. Her fourth and fifth studio albums, Goodbye, Lullaby, 2011, and Avril Lavigne, 2013, saw continued commercial success and were both certified gold in Canada, the United States, and other territories. In 2019, Levine released her sixth studio album, Head Above Water. Alongside her music career, Levine voiced Heather, a Virginia opossum, in the animated film Over the Hedge, 2006, and made her screen acting debut in Fast Food Nation, 2006. Levine was born in 1984 in Belleville, Ontario, Canada. She was named Avril, the French word for April, by her father. He and Levine's mother recognized their child's vocal abilities when she was two years old and sang Jesus Loves Me on the way home from church. Levine has an older brother named Matthew and a younger sister named Michelle, both of whom teased her when she sang, My brother used to knock on the wall because I used to sing myself to sleep and he thought it was really annoying. She is the sister-in-law of Japanese band 1OK rock bassist Ryota Kohama. Levine's paternal grandfather Maurice Yves Levine was born in St. Jerome, Quebec. A member of the Royal Canadian Air Force, he married Lucie Giert Bicky, a French native of Morhang, in France in 1953. Their son, Jean-Claude Levine, was born in 1954 at RCAF station Gristenkine near Gristenkine, Lorraine, France. When Jean-Claude was a child, the family moved to Ontario, Canada, and in 1975, he married Judith Roseanne Judy Lashaw. When Levine was five years old, the family moved to Napanee, now incorporated as Greater Napanee, Ontario, a town with a population of approximately 5,000 at the time. In school, she was sometimes removed from class for misbehaving. Her parents supported her singing. Her father bought her a microphone, a drum kit, a keyboard, and several guitars, and he converted their basement into a studio. Following his own love for music, Jean-Claude led the family to church at Third Day Worship Center in Kingston, Ontario, where he often played bass. When Levine was 14 years old, her parents took her to karaoke sessions. Levine performed at country fairs, singing songs by Garth Brooks, The Chicks, and Shania Twain. She began writing her own songs. Her first song was called Can't Stop Thinking About You, about a teenage crush, which she described as cheesy cute. Levine also played hockey into high school and won MVP twice as a right winger in a boys league. Levine is considered a highlight in the pop punk and alternative pop rock scene, since she helped pave the way for the success of female-driven punk-influenced pop artists such as Paramore, Sky Sweet Nam, Heath Dobson, Lilix, Kelly Osbourne, Crystal Myers, Tonight Alive, Courage My Love and Hey Monday. She has been compared to alternative female singer-songwriters of the 1990s such as Alanis, Morissette, Liz Fair, and Courtney Love, earning a reputation as the greatest female representative of pop-punk music, and has been called one of the female singers who best represent 2000s rock music. Levine also was seen as a fashion icon for her skate-punk and rocker style. Skater Boy, He Wasn't and Girlfriend are frequently listed among the best pop-punk songs of all time by critics. Levine has influenced a wide array of musical artists, including acts such as Billie Eilish, Rob Halford, Judas Priest, Courage My Love, Five Seconds of Summer, Maggie Lindemann, Tonight Alive, Willow Smith, 
Amanda Palmer, Misano, Rina Sawayama, Hey Monday, Gray, Ed Sheeran, Kaylee Moore, Charlie XCX, Mercy Me, and Kirsten Maldonado. Amy Stutt was hailed as the U.K.'s answer to Avril Lavigne. Lavigne also has fueled a significant influence on indie rock singer-songwriters such as Pale Waves, Grass, Phoebe Bridgers, Soccer Mommy, Snail Mail, and Liz Fair. On the rise of mid to late 2010s emo hip-hop and emo rap, Levine has been noted as an influence of various musicians from that scene, with Nylon magazine noting Lil Uzi Vert, Princess Nokia, Lloyd Banks, Vic Mensa, Nipsey Hussle, John River, No Name, and Rico Nasty. American rapper Fat Tony explained that Levine's traces of influences on hip-hop and rap music comes because she Avril delivered a great visual catchy package punk music, pop music, and skater culture that describes all of them. Rico Nasty named one of her alter egos, Trap Levine, citing she is a perfect representation of being hard and soft. She hated the term punk, but she was so punk rock. A persistent internet meme about a Levine-ridden song called Dolphins has been showing up on various lyric sites since 2007, but she did not write or record this song. The lyrics appear on dozens of lyric sites and various bands have recorded cover versions of the song that was never recorded by Levine. Levine was featured in the 2003 game The Sims. Superstar as a non-playable celebrity. In mid-2007, Levine was featured in a two-volume graphic novel, Avril Levine's Make Five Wishes. She collaborated with artist Camilla D'Errico and writer Joshua Dysert on the manga, which was about a shy girl named Hannah who, upon meeting her hero, Levine, learned to overcome her fears. Levine said, I know that many of my fans read manga, and I'm really excited to be involved in creating stories that I know they will enjoy. The first volume was released in April 2007, and the second followed in July 2007. The publication Young Adult Library Services nominated the series for Great Graphic Novels for Teens. In 1999, Levine won a radio contest to perform with the Canadian singer Shania Twain at the Carell Centre in Ottawa, before an audience of 20,000 people. Twain and Levine sang Twain's song, What Made You Say That and Levine told Twain that she aspired to be a famous singer. During a performance with the Lennox Community Theatre, Levine was spotted by local folk singer Stephen Med. He invited her to contribute vocals on his song, Touch the Sky, for his 1999 album, Can't Spirit. She later sang on Temple of Light and Two Rivers for his follow-up album, My Window to You, in 2000. In December 1999, Levine was discovered by her first professional manager, Cliff Fabry, while singing country covers at a Chapters bookstore in Kingston, Ontario. Fabry sent out VHS tapes of Levine's home performances to several industry prospects, and Levine was visited by several executives. Mark Jowett, co-founder of a Canadian management firm, Network, received a copy of Levine's karaoke performances recorded in her parents' basement. Jowett arranged for Levine to work with producer Peter Zitzo during the summer of 2000 in New York, where she wrote the song Why. Levine was noticed by Arista Records during a trip to New York. In November 2000, Ken Krongard, an ANR representative, invited Antonio L.A. Reed, then head of Arista Records, to Zitzo's Manhattan studio to hear Levine sing. Her 15-minute audition so impressed Reed that he immediately signed her to Arista with a deal worth $1.25 million for two albums and an extra $900,000 for a publishing advance. By this time, Levine had found that she fit in naturally with her hometown high school skater cleat, an image that carried through to her first album, but although she enjoyed skateboarding, school left her feeling insecure. Having signed a record deal, and with support from her parents, she left school to focus on her music career. Levine's band, which were mostly the members of Closet Monster, was chosen by Network, as they wanted young performers who were up and coming from the Canadian punk rock scene who would fit with Levine's personality. As of 2010, only a few of Levine's tattoos are unique to her, the rest are matched with those of her friends. Levine had a star tattooed on the inside of her left wrist that was created at the same time as friend and musical associate Ben Moody's identical tattoo. In late 2004, she had a small pink heart around the letter D applied to her right wrist, which represented her then-boyfriend, Derek Wibley. Levine and then-husband Wibley got matching tattoos in March 2010, in celebration of his 30th birthday.
In April 2010, Levine added another tattoo on her wrist, that of a lightning bolt and the number 30. What's your favorite song of hers?